Hey everyone, welcome back to Quant Prof. Today we are going to solve a Jane Street Quant interview problem. Check the description for more Quant interview resources. Let's look at the problem. There are five light bulbs, all initially turned off. In each turn, we randomly select one light bulb and flip its state. If it is off, we turn it on. If it is on, we turn it off. For example, in the first turn, we could select this light bulb and switch it on. In the next turn, we could switch this light bulb on, and the process continues in this manner. So, if all bulbs are initially off, what is the expected number of turns until all bulbs are off again? Pause the video here if you want to give it a try. We will use recursion to solve the problem. Let EI denote the expected number of turns to reach the all bulbs off state if I bulbs are on currently. For example, E2 represents the expected number of turns required for all bulbs to turn off again, given that the initial state has two bulbs turned on. Initially, all bulbs are off, and we randomly switch one bulb on we need to calculate the expected number of turns until all bulbs are off again. So our answer is E1 plus 1. The plus 1 accounts for the first turn in which we switched a bulb on, while E1 represents the expected number of turns to reach the all bulbs off state after one bulb was switched on. Let's first calculate E0. What is the expected number of turns to turn off all the light bulbs if we start with none on? It is 0 as we don't need to do anything, so E0 equals 0. Alright, what if we start with one light bulb on? With a probability of 1 by 5, we switch off the bulb that is currently on, reaching the state where all bulbs are off. Similarly, with a probability of 4 by 5, we switch on a bulb that was previously off, moving to a state with two light bulbs on. So, using the law of total expectation, we get the following equation. The first term represents the case where we switch off the bulb that is currently on and move to a state where all bulbs are off. This happens with probability 1 by 5. The plus 1 accounts for the current turn. The second term represents the case where we switch on a bulb that was previously off, moving to a state with two light bulbs on. This happens with probability 4 by 5. Again, the plus 1 accounts for the current turn. Similarly, we can derive equations for other starting states in the same manner. Solving this system of equations, we find E1 equals 31. So the final answer is 32. Let's consider another problem. We have a 5 cross 5 grid, so there are 25 squares. We can color some of these squares. For example, we can color them like this, like this, or like this. There is one constraint. No four colored squares should form the corners of a rectangle with sides parallel to the grid. For example, this coloring is invalid because these four squares form the corners of a rectangle with sides parallel to the grid. On the other hand, this is a valid coloring. So, what is the maximum number of squares that can be colored while ensuring that no four of the colored squares form the corners of a rectangle with sides parallel to the grid? If your answer is X, you need to create a valid configuration with X colored squares, and also prove that there are no valid configurations with X plus one or more colored squares. Try to solve it on your own. Hope you liked the video. If you want to learn how to solve these kinds of interview problems, we invite you to check out our course Quant Interview Masterclass, where we teach you how to think when solving difficult problems. We also cover the entire theory specifically tailored for quant interviews, along with over a thousand problems. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Until then, Godspeed.